Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet has told India that the door to join the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership remains open. India had been one of more than a dozen countries involved in talks for the world's largest free trade pact, but it eventually withdrew from RCEP, citing the need to safeguard the interests of its domestic industries. Mr Heng was speaking to Indian business leaders at a webinar. As we've experienced in most countries, while globalization is an overall boon, it also comes with costs. If India can address these downsides well, through reform, transformation, and attracting new investments, it will be in a good position to ride the post-COVID wave of globalization. India has an important role to play in contributing to the diversification of the global supply chain and making it more resilient. Mr. Heng has also touted greater economic integration with the region, which he says can help unlock India's vast potential. He's pointed out tremendous opportunities for Indian companies, especially in Southeast Asia. Two-way trade between ASEAN and India has doubled since a bilateral free trade area was agreed more than a decade ago. Mr. Heng says that both sides have complementary strengths which can be built upon in a post-COVID era. At the same time, DPM Heng has touched on the partnership between India and Singapore. He has identified fintech and sustainability as key areas for collaboration. Mr. Heng says it is important to integrate the digital economies of both countries, as this will allow the seamless flow of data and transactions across borders. Mr. Heng has also noted India's commitment to reduce a third of its emissions by 2030. He says there will be opportunities to work together on green infrastructure and technology. This will accelerate your transition to a new low-carbon economy and create new opportunities for collaboration. New opportunities can be found in green and net zero buildings, energy and water management solutions, as well as solar energy and green hydrogen. A number of Singapore companies are invested in these areas in India. Agritech also holds much potential. Through improved monitoring and precision farming techniques, farmers can increase their yield and improve their lives.